That was a good workout, Pierre. But how come you did not shower afterward? Why did you not shower, dog? Because I am a dog. But, never mind we are due at Alan's place. We are almost there. So, Pierre. I note that you are not a student nor a teacher. What is it that you do at the CIT? If I told you this, I would have to kill you. Say no more. Looks like we have arrived. Light of my life. We have guests. Well, take them to the backyard with the others. I will bring refreshments. As if I don't have enough to do on a Sunday afternoon. Dad, you are back. This Melissa is a pain. I have never met anyone as rude as she is. She is so self-absorbed. You two girls should go to the shops. We see IT folk are going to the garage for a study group meeting. Yes, indeed, these two losers should leave the scene. Alright, you two have asked Pierre and my good self here to advise you about the environment needed for workforce planning. First of all, most commentators believe that the HR function must be more business focused and a strategic partner in business decision making. And, HR should develop its own HR management business plan in synergy with the corporate plan. And, your yeah, workforce planning is an action item within the HR management business plan, and ongoing workforce planning informs future HR business planning. Hmm, that makes sense, sort of. Strategies which HR would include in their business plan would be informed by the consequences of forecast supply shortages, or forecast surpluses, of people with certain skills. For forecast supply shortages HR should include in their business plan a review of recruitment, selection and remuneration strategies for the various occupational groups. And, like, review or design internal career progression models. They also would need to plan for a review of learning needs in order to design learning and development strategies. And Clever Little Me would raise the issue of considering succession planning and management, including the following action items. You yeah, like undertake risk audited key and critical job roles. And develop a succession plan to include a number of activities. Such as a replacement time frame for job roles as informed by the recruitment and induction period, that is the time taken to hire and train someone into a key or critical job role. And, identifying candidates with the best potential to develop into these job roles. It is important to create and manage a pool of talent with the capability to take a number of assignments. Yes, and serious winners like me would be chosen for the talent pool. Of course, a system to set development and performance goals for succession planning candidates would need to be developed for such a pool. Now what about forecast surplus of staff with certain skills? How does HR plan for redundancies and redeployment? HR must ensure redundancy provisions comply with the provisions of the Fair Work Act 2009 and ensure that all redeployment options, including training for providing new skills, are met. You in the garage. Come and get it before it goes cold. I won't tell you again. Thanks, Dubs. I hope you guys like chicken feet in sweet chili sauce. The missus also makes a mean spinach ice cream. Yuck, I am, like so out of here. I have already eaten. I am allergic to chicken feet, 